Welcome to the Voice of the Coast. I am your host, Danica Foley. With me, we have Margaret Metz Terrio, who's a member of St. Mary Excel. And look, it's so, I look, I love having new people here. So just don't make it your first and last time. That sounds good. Sounds All right. Good. We'll well, she's back. a part of St. Mary Excel. It is an economic diversity promoting group pretty Correct. much. You may have Correct. heard of St. Mary XL, but I think this may be the first time having you guys right here on yeah. the on the Voice of the Coast, but yeah. it won't be your last. I hope and not. you are moving forward with this new idea and it's called Lanier or Lanier. And for Correct. the purpose of this interview, we'll call it Lanier. I think it Lanier. just kind of rolls off your tongue it does. a little bit Agreed. easier. Agreed. So tell me what the acronym stands for. So the acronym is LA is Louisiana uh, National Estuary Research Reserve. Um, a NEAR program, it's, uh, there's 29 other NEARs, uh, coastal NEARs in our country. Um, unfortunately, Louisiana has not received the NEAR yet, and so right now we're trying to promote to get that NEAR here in, a in the Atchafalaya Zone. And that is so awkward, the fact that we are a coastal state and mm -hmm. we don't have a NEAR that pretty much is, it, it promotes the estuaries and keeping Correct. our coastline intact and we don't have that right now we'll say in in just recently we have a we've had a coastal center mm -hmm. come up on Nickel State University Correct. there's also the Barataria National Estuary Program, mm -hmm. BITNEP, I may have left out a, a, a letter or two, but right. it's BITNEP <laughs> and, and and now we have a near that could be near to our Correct. state and Correct. to our hometown St. Mary Parish so there are at least seven uh, uh, areas that were that are being kind of scouted in Louisiana right. that could get a near. Correct. It was originally seven were slated, um, s uh, seven different zones across the coast of Louisiana, all the way from you know the Lake Charles area to the eastern side um, of our state, and then until recently, um, with reading minutes from uh, the site committee uh, meetings. It was kind of an unofficial finding that we, the Chafalaya Zone, um, St. Mary Parish area, has um, been slated as one of the top three. Wow. So we will be um, up against the Pontchartrain area as well as Barataria and then us. Wow. So, I mean, yeah. look, we're always number one in everything else. You know, <laughs> let's get number one in something that's pretty important to our Absolutely. area. I mean, we, we're considered a sportsman paradise. Correct. And we have all the natural habitat out there. What would a near do for us? So the near would do a, a few different things. One is um, the research side of it. So there's a lot of water data, grass data, um, which would only help our fishermen, crabbers, um, crawfishmen. Um, a big question that we get with that um, is will it affect you know the usage of the land um, that it, it is majority going to be a state um, area that they've deemed in the acreage but no it doesn't they'll they'll still follow all state guidelines it will not change anything um, and then it kind of moves into like the education side of things um, nears like to come to areas that um, they see, well, they'll, they'll make a difference in the area, um, not just on the research side, but in children's lives. Yeah. It is an education program. So they want to bring K through 12 into um, their surroundings. You know, we've seen other NEARs across the country. There's one in Texas where there's actually a floating classroom where they bring the kids onto a boat and they go and they show them. So it's not just examples in a book they actually can say, oh, I remember pulling this grass sample, and I know the, you know, where the silt from the Mississippi River comes and the Atchafalaya River and why this land built and this land didn't. Right. So it's hands-on learning with these children. But let's also look beyond that. It's great for children because yeah. we want to yeah. keep our children here, sure. right? But there's also the possibility of having boating, boat docks and well, uh, along floating with facilities. with the funding, because it is a 70% federal, federally funded program, 30% state, um, you know, we have to allow these tourists that come in to visit our near um, have safe and, you know, aesthetically pleasing uh, boat landings. So this would help us to maybe have some funding for, you know, maybe the Berwick boat landing or a different access into the Atchafalaya River. Because it would be deemed a near area, they would have to keep it up for the for the tourists. Now you're talking my language and yeah. when you say money, it's like, okay, oh, yeah. so are we responsible for any of this funding? No, we're not. Okay. No. So you mentioned answer. the numbers again, 70% 
federal and 30 percent state correct yeah okay and yep. we're in the top three top when three. will we find out uh when we are selected what's the time period so as far as the timeline they've um they've kind of been pushed back a little bit just with covid but um august september is when we'll go on official road shows where the site committee will come to a Chafalaya, Barataria, and um, Pontchartrain area to speak with the public and find out um, a little bit more about how they feel about it. Good, and that's what I want to know. Yeah. What is it that you need from us as, as the public? So we'll come back yeah. and talk more about where you can get involved and let's see if we can, get, we can snag ourselves a near. I just want to be number yes. one in something. <laughs> so come on back we'll right here it. on The Voice of the Coast with yours truly. Welcome back to the Voice of the Coast. Again, I am your host, Danica Foley Long. I'm here with Margaret Metz Terrio, who is a member of St. Mary XL. And we're talking about Lanier. If you need to know more about it, make sure to go to Facebook. They are L A N E R R. And give us what that acronym stands for one more time. Sure. sure. Um, NEAR is um, National Estuary Research Reserve. Right. And LA is Louisiana. Exactly. Yeah. Now, I mean, it, it, Look, to those who are avid sportsmen or if you've always wanted to, I know when I was a child, I always wanted to go fishing, but my uncles would leave me. They were like, you know, you're not a boy, but we know now you don't have to be a boy That's to right. go fishing. That's so, right. so this is where we get our children, but also our adults can also bask in all the beautiful habitat that St. Mary Parish has to offer. Right. So there's two other locations. There's Pontchartrain mm -hmm. and there's Veritaria. Yep also beautiful, but what sets us apart from those other two places? So I, I think the biggest thing that sets us apart is um, the story that we can tell here. Um, we're building land as opposed to losing land. That's right. Go ahead. How you know yeah. that, girl? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I love it. No, you're right. Yeah. yeah. And so, I mean, you know, that's such a huge focus right now um, in uh, the government's office is coastal restoration. And why wouldn't we want to see and investigate and research an area that's actually building land? Mm -hmm. um, I bet you didn't know about Foley Island. No, mm -hmm. where's Foley? I'll tell you about it you after the end of break. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, any, but, you know, that's one of the big things that we see. I mean, we have a little bit of everything. We have fresh mm -hmm. water and the salt water to brackish water. Yeah. Um, the access that we have to St. Mary Parish, Highway 90, it connects us to, Nor you know, Lafayette to New Orleans as well. We can drift off through LA 70 up to Baton Rouge. You know, we, we have Thibodeau close by. So the access for people to come in, the tourists, yeah. people that are passing through that, you know, I've, I've always said this, that tourists may tend to pass over us because of the Highway 90, you know, the bridges once they were raised. With a Lanier, when they Google what's there to do in St. Mary Parish, this will pop up. So they'll take the exit, whether, wherever the building would be to visit, and they'll come to visit our area. I'm sure they'll grab lunch. They might stay the night. You know, so it kind of just adds on. It snowballs into that economic right. um, diversification for the Lanier. Now, we have solidified ourselves in the top three. Have mm -hmm. they already made their way through our area? Have they been secretly uh, <laughs> looking at our area? I'm sure. Um, you know, the, uh, the site committee um, is a an array of people that are directly through Louisiana. Um, the CPRA, the Louisiana Department of Wildlife, the governor's office, um, some of the, the people that are on the site committee have done a lot of research here within the area. So they're very familiar with the, with the area, which is why we were chosen originally in the top seven. And as promised, I wanted to ask you, what is it that you expect the public to do? If we don't have to come out of pocket, which is great, we don't have to come mm -hmm. out of pocket with any money, but what can we do to further this along yeah. and secure the number one spot? So the biggest thing that we've taken away from all the Zoom meetings, and, and I want to kind of say this, that this is not a St. Mary Excel project. This is a community project. Um, if anybody else wants to jump on the bandwagon with us, we would be more than happy to have the help, which is why we're here, I'm here today, is to let, let the community know that this is just as much our, their responsibility as it is ours. Um, when asked um, on some Zoom calls um, what we could do for the community, they said educate them so that when they come through on the road shows in August, September, people know about it, right. you know, that maybe we talk about it over coffee or when we're on a bike ride or walking the track, you know, we say, hey, did you hear about the Lanier? 
And if you have questions, we would be more than happy to answer them or shoot you to a source to where you can do your own research, resources, research, sorry, yeah. research on it. Um, but it's just, we want people to ask us questions, good and bad. We mm -hmm. want that feedback, especially people who are entrenched into our area and into the you know, into the um, swamps and the crabbers and the trappers. Now we have about 30 seconds left. I do want you to yeah. mention the young lady that has actually been by your side through this whole process. Yeah. So Kelly, Kelly Boudreau, um, she and I have been, we've visited Morgan City Council, Berwick, Berwick Town Hall. We've gone to the school board, St. Mary Parish, a couple other organizations just to get the word out. And again, just contact us either personally or on our St. Mary Parish, um, St. Mary Excel Facebook page. All right, awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much, Thank Margaret. you so much, Danica. This was great. I hope you guys will check it out. Again, you yeah. can go on their Facebook page, but also check out L-A-N-E-R-R, -R, Lanier, Lanier, however you say it, we want it. <laughs> Come on back right here on The Voice of the Coast. Great, thank you.